Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with my monthly fairy loot unboxing. I'm a fairy loot rep, so every month they send me one of their lovely boxes for review. I love their boxes every single month because they are fantasy based, so they always have like fantasy themed items. So I'm always looking forward to everything they include in their boxes, and this month is no exception. Since I'm a rep, I also have a coupon code that you guys can use to get 5% off a three to six month subscription. If you enter the code Hannah at checkout, then you can get that discount, and it gives me nothing. It is totally just for you guys if you're interested in trying out fairy loot for yourself. This month's theme is tricksters, which makes me very happy because I have heard that there is a Six of Crows themed item in here, so I'm super intrigued. So without any further ado, let's just get into opening this up. On the very top, we have the card that they include in every month's box with the art for this month's theme, which is gorgeous as always. Okay, the first thing I'm seeing in here is a mug, and it's so cute. Hold on, let me open it. Okay, this is adorable. It's a little mug that says, I have to go to my mind place, which is inspired by Sherlock, but I love the style of this mug. It's so, so cute. And I love the black trim around the top of it. This is literally adorable. I love this. This is the best mug I have ever received in any box. Okay, the next thing that's in here is so funny. It is a geeky, clean, Loki Essence of Trickster body lotion. It literally has little cartoon pictures of Loki all over it, and it is so, so cute and funny. I'm really curious to know what this smells like, so let's open it. I can't really smell anything all that much. It just smells like kind of sweet ish. And I don't want to put it on right now because I don't want my hands to get like sticky when I touch everything else, but it's very cute and I'm very excited to try it out. Oh my gosh, okay, I got really excited. I saw Hogwarts and I didn't even look at the rest, but they're Hogwarts playing cards. Okay, so this is literally a tin of Hogwarts playing cards. This is the greatest thing ever. I have to open this up to see what they look like. Oh my gosh, okay, so they converted each like symbol into the different houses. So there's like Hufflepuff, and then we have Slytherin, and then there is Gryffindor and Ravenclaw. Like that is just so, so cool. I'm literally never gonna use a different deck of cards ever in my life again. These are perfect and I love them. Okay, so far literally every item has been exceptional and I'm living for it. So hopefully the rest of the box is the same. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so cool. Cool. Okay, I had to take it out of the plastic because it was making a lot of noise, but it's an oven mitt. It's an oven mitt that is covered with moons and like witchy symbols and stuff. I really don't know what most of this is, but it's so cool and I love it so much. I'm gonna be moving soon to an apartment at school, so I'm gonna have like a kitchen and stuff and I'm gonna need some like kitchen things and I can literally use this oven mitt now. This is actually very useful for me. Like I need this and now I have one and it's so perfect. I'm so happy about this. <laughs> I found the Six of Crows item and I'm loving it. It is this gorgeous watercolor bookmark that has a quote from Six of Crows that says, better terrible truths than kind lies. And then it says Six of Crows at the bottom. And the back side has a feather from like a crow. And it's just so gorgeous. The next thing that I see in here is this art print that has a quote that says, it doesn't matter who broke you down. What matters is who made you smile again. And I think it's a quote from Harley Quinn because it says Harley Quinn at the bottom. But this is very, very pretty. And it looks very Harley Quinn-esque. The next thing that's in here is a coupon, I believe. And it says, express yourself on this side and it says behind the pages presents ship yourself finally you can ship yourself with your favorite fictional boyfriend or girlfriend customize your very own ship name label soap design and choose from 50 different fragrances that's so so cool so you can like make your own ship name with a character that you like you're in love with and you can also get 15% off if you use the code fairy loot which is very very nice so thank you so much fairy loot all right so that is it for all of the items in this month's box and now we're finally on to the book so let's open it up I really have no idea what this month's book is. Like, I haven't been able to guess it at all. So I'm gonna be taken completely by surprise and I'm excited. Oh my gosh, yes, I am so excited about this. I've been wanting this book. So the book that is in this month's box is Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie. I actually met Amanda Foodie when I was in New York at BEA and BookCon. And we actually took an Uber together, which was really cool. <laughs> but I was introduced to her and she was talking about her book and it sounded so, so fascinating. And I wanted to read it ever since. And the cover is just so gorgeous. And now I'm so, so happy to finally have it. So from what I understand about this book, it follows the story of this girl named Serena who is 16 years old and she is an illusionist. So she has the ability to create illusions that other people perceive as real. And she works in this festival carnival thing, which is very, very similar to the night circus because the night circus has illusionists who are a part of a circus. And that's part of the reason I was so drawn to this book because it sounds really similar to that in a lot of ways and very magical. And I'm so, so excited to read this. I really, really, 
really don't know much else about the plot and I could read the synopsis, but I don't want to. I just want to know nothing about this and go into it and be totally surprised and hopefully fall completely in love with it. So I'm so, so happy to have this now and I cannot wait to start reading it. And then of course, we also have a signed book plate, a letter from Amanda about the book, which I'm also very excited to read as I get into the book, and a bookmark that has this month's theme art on it. And finally, of course, next month's theme is Other Worlds and it's going to include an item from Book and Nook Candles. I'm very excited to get another candle. I always love those, but the theme also sounds fantastic, so I cannot wait. All right, guys, so that is everything that was in this month's Tricksters Fairy Loot Box. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Like I mentioned in like all my Fairy Loot unboxings, they're one of my favorite subscription boxes. They are so fantastic. The items they include are such high quality. The books are always beautiful, and I'm always so intrigued by them and so impressed with how well they run their entire subscription service. So a huge, huge thank you to Fairy Loot, as always, for doing such a wonderful job. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're fantastic. But that is it for this video. If you would like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!